Also, I think, you know, Blue Origin now, uh, Jeff Bezos, he also, similar to Elon, I don't know if you know any of his history, but he uh, was actually planning to do space work back when he was in high school. He wrote a paper, apparently, saying that he wanted to do, you know, great things in space, but that first he needed money, so he formed Amazon to get the money so that he could do stuff in space. And that's what he's doing with Blue Origin. And he, his approach has been very interesting compared to Elon. Elon built his rocket from the bottom up, which is how most people do it. Jeff is building his rocket from the top down, for the, starting with the capsule, the New Shepard, and then um, the, the, that, the stage that he just flew, which actually is a second stage. It has to do with his BE-3 um, LOX hydrogen engine. Okay, It's actually intended to be his second stage. And then he developed a BE-4 engine, LOX methane, which will be his eventual first stage that ULA is looking at to actually upgrade the, the Atlas V. So Jeff is actually building his rocket from the top down, okay, but also making, you know, incredible progress at this point. So the, the fact that we have, as I mentioned now, really four serious contenders, SpaceX, ULA, uh, Blue Origin, and Orbital ATK, you know, what are the commonalities between those four organizations? How have they decided, you know, to, to pursue this? What strategies are they pursuing? What are the commonalities between them and their hiring practices, their promotion, how they incentivize their workforce? You know, what markets are they going after? How do they work with the government? I mean, we, you've got actually a very, um, you know, um, fertile ground for some really good business case studies. And again, pulling out what are some of the things that NASA could adopt. Again, we won't be able to adopt everything, but what are some of the things NASA can adopt and what type of projects uh, could NASA pursue where you could beta test some of these ideas and see how, see how they work out. And I guess that's one other thing that I think would make sense. You know, the part of the software industry, this whole idea of beta testing. And any of you who know software, you get something that barely works and you put it out on the market. <laughs> it's called a beta. Because what you want to do is see, well, how is it responding to the customers? What's important? What's not important? And I have enough friends who are in the software business that, that they find that's you know, immensely valuable because a number of things that you may think are important you find out aren't. And then a lot of the things that you thought weren't important okay, are. But the only way to get the, that information is to get something that's somewhat working and get it out working and get the feedback. And so, again, I think you're seeing these the Jeff Bezos's and the Elons and, and the other folks, and now at Tori Bruno at ULA, they're willing to, to beta test things, try it, see how it works. Now, if it works well, fine. Now adopt it full-heartedly. If it doesn't, adjust it. And whereas we're very reluctant to do that at NASA, we usually like to go for the, we call them the Battlestar Galacticas. We like to go for that really big, Mission And again, there's a number of reasons for that. The Webb Space Telescope, okay? I mean, you can't just beta test Webb, okay? You've, you have a significant commitment and, you know, so you, and you want it to work. Um, we've had experiences like with Hubble, okay? When the, these very large projects don't work, there's a lot of, you know, both um, brand damage and, and uh, uh, you know, and difficulties to be faced. Uh, when, when we have our large programs that don't work. But, you know, how do you make use of beta testing where you can, again, on, on levels and, and on programs that are low enough consequence to try it out before you move it in? And uh, so, again, looking for opportunities for beta testing, different organizational designs, different incentive structures, and so on. And uh, I know that's easy to say and much harder to do, <laughs> but, but that's one of the, the lessons that you can see from these companies.